I joined you. Yeah. Is it important, is it necessary to acquire a skill? Yes. Yes. Compulsory. Okay, what do we call skill? Maybe I should go back to the first question. Mm. Most of the time in this environment, what we look at, uh, what we call skill is um, learning how to sew, learning how to braid, stuff like that. That's uh, what people That's skill think. now. Yeah, it's not just that. What really? What you do is skill. Okay. Speaking is skill. Okay. Okay? Um, reading is skill. Mm. Some people read better than others. Mm. Speaking is skill. Okay? Um, sport is skill. Mm. Okay? Now, let's go deeper. Leadership is skill. Mm. Politics is skill. Mm. You know some politicians. When they talk to you, you have to believe them. Mm. You want to follow them. Because they have influence on themselves and people around them. Mm. Okay? So, we need to look critically into areas where people have, um, people have that gift already. Mm. And they are ready to develop it into what they want to be. Okay? That's why I said... It is, um, it is a skill, and all of us need to go beyond um, the ordinary. And we shouldn't look at skill as, as um, what, uh, like, hairdo, paint, um, nail painting, and the stuff fashion like that. Designing, no, not just that. It's cooking. about every area of life. Cooking. Cooking. Mm. Okay. Now, okay. As, as a lady, mm. I'm sure you love cooking. I, actually, I love cooking. Just that it's, it's, it's just a sad case that I don't have people around me that eat much. Oh. So I, I don't get to I don't get to express mm. myself. Please let me spend the time with you. <laughs> <laughs> I love to eat. <laughs> so I don't get to express myself as much as I want to do. Oh, I love to eat. And I don't really eat that much. And people around me don't eat. So <laughs> sometimes I just cook and put it in the freezer. Oh, it's that bad. Oh, come on. <laughs> or, or maybe you come and spend weekend in our house. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll make it a business, rather. Yeah. I'll make no, a business out of it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. Because this is what you love to do, mm -hmm. and you know you know how to do it. Mm -hmm. Of course, you may need to improve on one or two, or two other areas. Mm -hmm. Maybe to learn other, uh, other kind of um, mm. food to make. And before then, you, I mean, after a few months, you okay. find out that you're okay. professional. We, we, we can't really talk about skill acquisition and leadership. Let's, okay, let's focus more now on skill acquisition. Okay. You, you mentioned now that the head making, wigs making, painting, uh, fashion designing, baking and all that are not just the only skills that are there. But the thing is, most people go for these options because you can make ends meet out of it can put food on the table. But then you, you talked about reading, speaking, and some other things. And <laughs> I don't really see, yes, how can a uh, youth consider, after considering this as a skill, like you rightly said, how can they make a living out of it? You can make a living out of anything. Mm. OK? That's right. Driving. <laughs> Is a skill, too? No, I, I just want to say driving. Mm -hmm. Of course, it is a skill. Mm. Um, for what do we call F, um, F7, uh, this sports event? Um, Formula One. Formula One, F1. Yeah, what's it about? Okay, a skill, come on. Mm. You've taken driving to another level. So it's not just cycling. Some people are taking cycling to another level. Okay, when we were younger, we just mm. used to run around ourselves, do this. Some people took it to another level. We have emotion. Making Nigeria proud, mm. my Nigeria proud. Okay, she has taken running to another level. We can both have done something different. Mm. Okay, so we talk about reading, talk about speaking, and begin to. After some time, you see that today we have a lot of motivational speakers, and they make a lot of money speaking. Speaking. Yeah. Mm. Reading. If you read, you're likely to know how to write. Mm. And you write, you write books, write stories, make a living out of it. Okay. You can make a living out of any skill. Okay. okay, so let's go back to the leadership uh, quality and attribute. How can I, as a youth, develop this attribute in me? Because when you look at it these days, most youth tend to their phones, tend to social media. They prefer to tweet, they prefer to chat, send messages. And when it comes to the real, then when you meet most youth one-on-one, -on -one, they can barely hold a conversation. I mean, someone who can barely hold a conversation, how can the person become a leader? So how can...
can it be developed, the leadership qualities, how can it be developed among youth? Well, it's the fundamental um, challenge we have in this nation. Um, because most of us were not um, brought up to understand life. We were brought up, brought up to be dependent on others. Most of the time, young people take their lives for a ride because they believe that, in a way, everything depends on others, not mm. them. Mm. Okay, that's why every day, these days, we blame the government. We don't want to blame ourselves. Okay, so when you now see young people who are not, like I said at the beginning, before you can go into leadership, you have to actually lead yourself. Most of them cannot lead themselves as a person. That's why you talk about, oh, social media is just a chat. But ask a few people, what do you chat about? Okay, mm. what do you tell others about? We can even pick life from what you talk about to mm. people. Mm. Okay, if I chat, chat, we chat and we discuss, um, of for, course, for, important For things. most youth, it ends yeah. there. Mm. They can send tweets, they can chat, they can do all these things. Mm. They're very vocal, very open, mm. you know, very expressive mm. online. Mm. But when it comes to the real, like when the real life, they can't even stand to tell you their name. Well, I think that's part of education. Hmm. Yeah, of course, these days, just in the university or wherever school you and um, people attend today, what you just see is um, you see young people just um, about academics. I know a lot of people that had first class, like you said, hmm. they can't even hold a conversation. They can't talk about anything outside that course of study. Hmm. That's not enough. Okay, what you need, that's why we talk about skill today. Mm. A lot of people, um, a, few, a few years ago, I met a friend of mine who, of course, a specialist in that course of study. Mm -hmm. But as life goes on, we started discussing, found out that she had other skills that she never knew. Mm -hmm. Until one day, it's actually about music. One day, I just heard her sing, and I said, come on, you can sing. And we tried something out. Before you know it, I never knew that there is a Celine Dion in the, in the heart of this lady. But she never had the opportunity to express herself. Because nobody discovered what she had. You know, I was talking about three levels the other time. I talked about the natural gift that you have, mm. developing into talent mm. before you develop into skill. Okay, I want so, to cut mm. you short there. He talked about music and I introduced you as a personal development coach and a musician, right? Yeah. yeah. So what kind of music do you do? I do classical music, basically. Classical music yeah. in Nigeria? Yeah. <laughs> classical music. <laughs> OK. OK, my, uh, my producer mentioned you have a particular show coming up tomorrow. Yeah. Would you uh, like to bring us on that? Oh, yeah. White Christmas Festival is tomorrow. Uh, um, Christmas is white for you. Yeah, for us, it's white. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. white, and we call it White Christmas. OK. And um, so tomorrow is the 20th anniversary of the choir. So why not here? Yeah. So you've been doing it for 20 for years? 20 years, yes. Okay. Okay, that's part of the thing I was talking about. Okay. Okay. Um, New one started while I was in the university. I was, I was um, an undergraduate then. And we started as young people mm. and then um, put ourselves together. And most of us are still together till today. Wow. 20 years after. So that saying that 20 children cannot play for 20 years. It's not naturally applicable in your case. Well, well we, were, we, were, we were 20 then, but we are not 20. Yeah, no, 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 no. So that means it's true then. <laughs> so why, why is White Christmas going down? White Christmas is um, tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. The main event at 4. We start at 3 o'clock, but the main event at 4 o'clock. What is starting at 3? It's just the, some pre events, oh, you know, so like red carpet, red some carpet, kind of sort. Okay. Of course, some music too. Oh, interesting. Yeah, some organ music, mm -hmm. um, a number mm -hmm. of um, um, stage work. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about that when you come tomorrow. I get and to tomorrow, see. Um, it's 1st of December at Olushe Gomba Soja Presidential Library. That's OPL. The auditorium, yes. The auditorium, yeah, OPL, the auditorium okay. OPL uh, tomorrow. And um, as I said, this is our 20th year, it's going to be very special. Mm. So we do a lot of classical music with, of course, we do contemporary is it, music. Is it, is it just music all through? Yes, music and drama. We have opera. We call it opera. I don't know if you know opera. I know of, I, I'm sorry. I, all this kind of music is, I'm not familiar with them <laughs> here in Nigeria. I just watch them mostly on TV. Okay. I've never actually witnessed an opera before. Okay, opera is um, when you sing and you act. And you act. I know, yeah. I know what it is, but I, 
but people what, actually what watch do? that fair in yes, this part of the world. Yes. Interesting. Yes. yes, that's why a lot of people come to watch Christmas. Interesting yeah. to know. It, it, it's a festival. It's a big thing. And entry. Yes, it is free, but you have to book a seat. Okay. I'm sure we are, so I'm how? Sure we are, how we do have I have book a seat? www.whitechristmas.com.ng www.whitechristmas.com.ng Yes, register. We and keep, for some of us that are not internet savvy, Oof, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. You, you see, um, a few years ago, we found out that mm. we couldn't control the crowd. Mm. So we have to pre-register everybody. So if you don't register before the show, you may not get a seat. In fact, if you get a seat and uh, you stand up to, to go to the loo, you may not get that seat again. Interesting. So um, to tell you that people listen to classical music, Especially wow. from new wine or some. Yeah, I know. I know Andrew. Andrew loves such music, classical mm. music, but I don't really seem to understand why he does. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, come and be my special guest tomorrow. Oh, it's an honor to be uh, a special guest. I, I'll try to be there. I'll please, try to make it there please, tomorrow. Please, 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 okay, please. so um, what brought about classical music for you? I mean, there are different genres of music that people enjoy in this part mm. of the world. In Nigeria, we listen to hip hop, Afro beat, and all that. So, why classical music for you? Okay. Can I tell you a story? Okay. Um, my grandfather was an organist. Ah. My father was an organist. Mm. I'm an organist. Interesting. So it's like a family line thing. And my son is playing the organ already. Okay. And his son <laughs> is also going to play the organ. Okay. And you'll see something tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So please uh, uh, spell up the website again for people to. www.whitechristmas.com.ng uh, www Okay. That's why you book your seat. Well, if you want to come, please do that right now because I think we have only about 50 seats right, um, um, still uh, vacant now. And how many seats is the auditorium? About 1,000. What? And how is that? Over 900 and before I came to see about 934 or something. Interesting. And then it's for free. It's you, free. It's but entry is of free. Of course, your donation is please donate. Support ah. okay. <laughs> yeah, it's free. Yeah, we've done a few times um, mm -hmm. um, to have entry tickets, but because it is our festival, we want everybody to come around. And uh, but we want you to donate um, mm. and send your donation to our accounts. And mm. or tomorrow you bring your cash or transfer to us. Okay, but entry is free. It's free. Okay, but you can as well donate. Yeah, that's what donate. you're trying to say. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for coming on the program today. Okay. Mr. Oladapo Ukumuide, a personal development coach, a musician. What other things do you do? I'm a farmer. You say farmer. What do you do? What, what do you farm? A poultry. Poultry I'm farmer. A poultry, yes. So definitely I have I'm gonna have chicken for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Myself and the crew. I'm gonna okay. have free okay. chicken for Christmas. No, I only promise you and oh, Andrew. just myself and Andrew. and Andrew. No, let's remove Andrew from the show. Let's remove Andrew from the show. No. Just me and you here. It's just that uh, nobody's listening. <laughs> <laughs> nobody can hear you. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you so much for coming yeah. on the program today. Great to be here. Yes, and that was a personality segment with the personal development coach. And be sure to be at OPL Cinemas tomorrow. OPL so Auditorium tomorrow to watch White. Christmas live and direct. It's going to be fun. I'll try to be there as well so you can meet with me too. And I'll drag Andrew with me. Together we'll be there. So now it's time for a blast from the past. Please stay with us. It's still OGTV. Take time, might take time. 